we get we sign up for export insurance, which has been key because that forces us to do due diligence, which means to look at the distributor both from a financially and then we also look at them personally. I have found in the microtone blade industry that you either have the big boys, the major players, or you have the local regional guys. We have done business mostly with the local regional guys. We look at them and try to ensure that they are honest and uh, they might not have the, the greatest uh, um, territory, but there's a lot of trust there. And uh, um, so in terms of, of finding a distributor, it's, it's critical that you, that you do your research and uh, uh, make sure that they, they fit with your company and your goals. You can, you can try to make the big sale and, and, and run, or you can be in there for the long term and build up slowly. And we've done it by the build up slowly with someone that is, becomes basically family friends over the years. When we choose a distributor, though, you, um, because of the relationships that you have formed, um, that becomes your network. And you can talk to someone that is familiar with an area that will corroborate you know, your thoughts, and um, it's, it's that reference that Mike um, can go to uh, that will say, this, this company is, is honorable, this one um, I don't know anything about. Um, the state has also been helpful uh, identifying distributors in areas that we have no familiarity with whatsoever. That, uh, that's key is, is the, the trade reps. The trade reps have done an incredible amount of research and have always found the half dozen or so histology distributors in each region that we ask that can be trusted. And then we choose from among them. And I will say that every single one of them, the world over, says, I have to have exclusivity. And that's where they start with, but you don't necessarily have to give them exclusivity. And uh, uh, they can earn it. It's best. Or you can say, I'll give it to you for a year and see how you do. Uh, uh, we end up doing exclusivity on a country by country basis if it's reasonable. It's, might not be reasonable for a single person to handle all of India or Brazil or Russia or China, but in general, exclusivity does get people's attention. We, uh, we had an experience with uh, a product itself. One of the things that uh, we did was try to, for those that were receptive, try to introduce our low-end product versus our high-end product. And with the intent that the low end product you need to lower price and be more competitive and so forth. But we have found that that doesn't work. They're looking for the high end product, they want the best. And of course, they all, coincident with that, they also want to get the best price. So you're, you're kind of, you know, torn uh, uh, as to what you can do from a profit margin standpoint. But uh, they definitely want the high-end product. We've had some product come back to us. That's how we learned that, you know what, the, the low end, that just doesn't cut it. So I think that's important, uh, you know, it's an important factor in uh, marketing your products overseas.